Tonight, for the first time, we are hearing from asylum seekers here in Oregon who had been detained in the federal prison out in Sheridan. Eight men have been released on bond, and now they'll have to wait to seek permanent status here in the U.S. Our investigative reporter, Gabrielle Carroll, was at that news conference. And, Gabrielle, we heard from these men directly today. That's right. Five of the men who are being represented by the Innovation Law Lab spoke today. All five were from India, where they say they were fleeing persecution. They've been detained in the Sheridan prison for the past three months. In the beginning, I have no hope. Karandeep Singh spoke today about the despair he felt in the Sheridan prison. He thanked the Innovation Law Lab, which has been working alongside the ACLU, for getting him out. I feel like I, it's like a dream. I can't imagine that. I, I'm very happy. Do we have? The organization has turned to the immigration court system to get the men released on bond. Upon leaving the building, this young man got on his knees, kissed the ground, and asked, Is this real? The bond process is expensive. The Innovation Law Lab says bond can range from $1,500 to $5,000. There might be a delay in some people being released because their family members and friends need that time to gather that money together to be able to post the bond. Now the men who have been released will wait for immigration court. For this man, speaking through an interpreter, the future outside of Sheridan seems brighter. I'm so glad I'm here. I cannot tell you how happy I am. The men will be traveling to friends and family located across the country. None of the five men who spoke today had any connections to Oregon. Depending on where they're going, though, they may have better or worse chances of being granted asylum. One of the men is headed to the state of Georgia. ACLU of Oregon says immigration judges there are rarely granting asylum. Back to you. All right.